everyone, it's Jasmine here again. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, monthly BoxyCharm subscription boxes. This one in particular is the April of 2017. Um, it is $21 US per month. If you subscribe for more than one month at a time, three or more, it does bring the price down. Uh, for three months, I believe it goes down to $19.33 per month if you purchase the three months. Um, so this um, subscription here comes with uh, five and six products every month, but four of them are going to be full-size products. Um, another thing to note is that you are going to be getting a minimum of $100 worth of product in here as well. Um, so that's kind of nice because you're only paying the $21 a month and then it's guaranteed $100 worth of product. Um, so for this April um, subscription box, it actually came with in total $115.99 worth of product in this box right here. So very good value. Um, this one was called the Boho Glow. Um, so that's that's what we're going to be looking at today. So it comes in a box like this. When it's shipped to you, um, you get a little card in here. This one's for the next month. But um, the card in here um, gives you a description of all the products and what they would um, retail for. Um, and just a little bit about them and how you would use them. Um, so this is what came in the April month's box. Um, so the first item that I'm going to be talking about... Um, is the concealer collection 16 uh, color concealer palette so it looks like this it retails for $19.99 it comes with six shades I have used this um, so you could see here I'll put in some swatches of a few of the colors um, so a good variety of shades that you have in here there's one um, I particularly like for my concealer which is the cream color it comes with an ivory more salmony color so if you want to correct those um, under eye bags. There's a salmon color to try and correct that. Um, they have um, a yellow, a more yellow shade concealer as well. So you can use that to brighten under the eyes. Um, and they do have um, a nice variety of, uh, for, for your fair ladies to your um, darker ladies down here as well. So uh, I'll insert a couple um, a swatch picture of just a few of the shades just so you can get an idea of what they look like on on skin I, I don't mind this palette at all um, I find that it, it is quite thick of a consistency for concealer um, so creasing can become a problem you definitely definitely have to uh, set this concealer in place because it's going to crease on you like crazy. Um, I tend to use it uh, sparingly under my eyes just to cover it up there and then also um, spot conceal on any of my like old acne scars. Um, I use that as well for this. Um, I have used it a couple times. It's not bad. It's not my favorite uh, but I think this would be nice for like a start out um, makeup artist. If you're just starting out you, you do have a uh, a variety of colors that you could choose from if you do makeup on friends or anything so uh, again this one was $19.99 um, the next item is the allegory story uh, lip gloss it looks like this um, clear packaging with a uh, holographic uh, clouds on the top there. Um, it's in a brownish shade. I am wearing it today just so you could see what it would look like. I am just wearing the gloss. There is no lip liner. There is no lipstick underneath. Um, it can get quite opaque. It does have a nice doe foot applicator. Um, so that's nice. It's not very sticky. It's pretty smooth. Um, it smells kind of like... Um, I would say like cupcake, birthday cake scent. So it's pretty pleasant, but once it's on the lips after 30 seconds, you don't smell the scent anymore, which is nice if you're not a big scent person. So uh, this was a nice lipstick um, or lip gloss, sorry. It is a retail value of $15. Um, I'm not usually a brown wearer, but it doesn't look bad. So um you can wear this just as a gloss on its own like I am today or you can top it uh, on top of your lipstick or liquid lipstick just to give it a, a tinge of a brown uh, if you're wearing a nude lipstick or want to just tinge your lipstick or lip gloss um, 
to a, a brownie tinge you can use this as well. So this is a nice lip gloss. I don't mind it not sticky at all, so that's a bonus as well. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Pure Cosmetics um, Blend Squad. Um, so they are um, just kind of like the Beauty Blender. It's a blending sponge. You put it in the water. Um, I did, I, I do use this on a regular basis. I do have my um, Beauty Blender as well that I wet so you can take a look at and see the difference in size. So this one's my Pure Cosmetics, the one that came with the, the BoxyCharm subscription, and then this is my Beauty Blender. They're both dirty and disgusting. I do have to clean it, but um, regardless, you can see the size comparison. So they are quite similar. Um, the Pure Cosmetics is a little bit larger than the uh, Beauty Blender. Um, another thing that I noticed too is that the Pure Cosmetics is a little bit um, stiffer than the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is a little bit... Um, it's not as stiff as the Pure Cosmetics, let's just say that. But um, regardless, um, the for the three pieces... This is what they look like dry. This is how big they expand to when um, you wet them and then are ready to use them. So they do grow quite big. Um, they're a nice beauty sponge. Uh, for all three of them, it is a value of $36. Whereas if you're buying one beauty blender, you're spending around $20 for just one. So this is a very good value. I do really enjoy these. I... I go to these. To me, it, it doesn't matter if I'm using the Beauty Blender or this. I feel like they both come out with the same results. Um, I enjoy both. Also, the nice thing that I like about this one compared to the Beauty Blender is because it's just an egg shape, the Beauty Blender. Whereas this one, um, it is an egg shape, but it does have a, um, a slant on the one side. Let's see if you can see this one better because it's cleaner. Um, so there is a slant on it which is nice um, so it gets right into those creases into your nose which is nice um, I do really enjoy this like I said it's just a bit stiffer than the beauty blender but regardless it is a great sponge and I enjoy using it um, the next item that everyone was excited about for this month was the Ofra Cosmetics uh, Rodeo Drive highlighter so that's this right here I am wearing it on my cheek so um, it's a nice highlighter the only thing I have to say um, is that it does give a lot of kickback um, it is a more uh, champagne-y um, champagne color I would say um, it's in the shade Rodeo Drive this highlighter retails for $35 um, like I said, it gives a lot of kickback. It is a nice highlighter. Um, you can see it there. Just swatch it quickly for you. Um, but I am wearing it on, um, as my highlight today. And, um, on my cheeks, on my nose, a little bit on my Cupid's bow. It's really nice. Um, I usually use my, if I want a more blinding highlight, I'll use my Morphe M510 brush. Um, I really like that for packing on highlight. I, I find that it, it gives a good effect, um, and it packs more of it on. If I want something a little bit more natural and light, then I'll go in with my Morphe M310 fan brush. So I enjoy that as well. But remember that when you are using these, um, let's just see if you do get quite a bit of kickback. Um, so if that bugs you, you might not like this, but because this highlighter is so nice, um, the way it looks on the skin, I, um, I don't mind, but yeah, it's a nice highlight. I really do enjoy it. And like I said, I usually like to use this brush just because it get it's a more highlight blinding effect than I do with my uh, Morphe 310. So that's what I like to use with it. But the Ofra highlighter comes with the box as well. And the last item that comes in the April 2017 box was the Project Beauty Hair Girt in um, Strawberry Banana. Um, so that's a shampoo. It's a yogurt-based shampoo, smoothing yogurt it's called, with prebiotics, quinola, and super botanicals for beautiful hair, sulfate and paraben-free, which is nice. So if you do have color, um, colored hair, 
pink hair, colored hair, treated hair. Um, this would be a nice option for you because there is no sulfate in it and sulfate tends to uh, strip out color faster um, than if you didn't have a sulfate free. So that's nice that this has no sulfate in it. Um, I have used this three or four times when I have used this. I've noticed that my hair does not get as greasy as fast as it normally does. Um, normally I have to wash my hair every day to every second day. I can go about three days when I use this one. So that's nice that I'm not getting any additional um, oil buildup with this product. Um, it says on here to help tame unruly frizzy dry hair. I do have um, frizzy hair. My hair is very thick. Um, I do enjoy this. The scent is very pleasant. I'm not the type that likes um, banana scent or flavor. Um, I don't like it at all but this one's not overbearing and I can handle it. Um, this is for 118 milliliters for fluid ounces. It's $10 so it's quite pricey uh, but I do enjoy it. It is very good. Like I said I don't have to wash my hair as much and it is no sulfate and paraben free. So bonus for this shampoo. Um, I really enjoy it. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone that um, deals with oily hair issues um, or um, if you just want something that has no sulfate, this is a really good option for you. So that was my um, April of 2017 BoxyCharm box. Um, if you enjoy it, great. I'd love for you to comment, subscribe, tell me what you'd like to see. Um, also, another thing to note, too, is that when you do sign up with BoxyCharm, I'll put my um, link in the description bar if you want to check check that out. You end up collecting any time every month that you're subscribed with them. You do get um, charm points, and those charm points can be redeemed um for uh, money off of your subscriptions or products, so that's really nice. Every thousand points is $10 off of your subscription, um, so that's also a bonus with them as well. So uh, yeah, I think that's all for today. If you enjoyed it, uh, like I said, like, thumbs up the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.